As we continue to celebrate Women's History Month, today we're recognizing some of Chicago's history makers and how we continue to honor their contributions today. Two Chicago created a list of Chicago landmarks dedicated to key women who've helped shape our city and our nation. And joining us now is Lisa Nucci from Chu Chicago. Thank you so much for being here with us. We're just going to get right to it. So first on your list is the Jane Addams Hall House Museum. Can you tell us about that landmark? Of course, so let's start with that museum. Um, it is located in Little Italy, which is on the University of Illinois Chicago campus. So Jane Addams was a lot of things to w women, but she was a social worker, a peace activist, and a leader of the Settlement House Movement. She was also the first American woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize. So in about 1889, she started Hull House, which served as a community and cultural center for, neighbor for the neighborhood's many immigrant families at the time. And today you can check out the Hull House Museum. It's a historical landmark and certainly a great destination during this Women's History Month. All right, Lisa, let's uh, go to Bronzeville and the Ida B. Wells Light of Truth Monument. Of course, so head on over to Bronzeville. Um, and this monument was unveiled pretty recently in 2021. Um, it's a landmark that honors the legacy of Ida B. Wells. She was a journalist, a social reformer. She advocated for civil rights, women's suffrage, and economic justice. She's remembered for her anti-lynching campaign and is also a founding member of the NAACP. Her former residence is also commemorated nearby in Bronzeville. Wow. There's also the Gwendolyn Brooks Park and House. Can you tell us about that? Sure. If you head on over to Kenwood, you can see Chicago's most acclaimed and beloved poets, Gwendolyn Brooks Park, former residence. She was the first black poet to win a Pulitzer Prize and her childhood home still stands on the south side of the city and nearby Brooks Park also has a really beautiful bronze statue in her honor. And we also have the Chicago Women's Park and Garden uh, for us yes. to, to, to explore. Yeah, so this is really such a hidden gem. It was open to the public in 2000. Um, it's a charming green space that honors the legacy and historical contributions of all women. It's located within the Prairie Avenue Historic District, which is nestled between two houses, the Clark House and the Glessner House. And the cool thing about this park is that you can enjoy programs all year round, like fitness classes, mom and tot classes, mu music in the park. Um, it's really a special place in the city. And Lisa, you were also going to highlight some LGBTQ plus landmarks, right? Absolutely. Um, so Chicago has been shaped by a long line of LGBTQ plus leaders, including many influential women like Lorraine Hasbury, Pearl Hart, Valerie Taylor, and you can explore their rich legacy through the Chicago Legacy Walk, which starts in Lakeview. So much rich history. I know. I was just going to say exactly that. Yes, it's so much to explore as well. Mm -hmm. Lisa Nucci from Chu Chicago, thank you so much for joining us and for the history lesson we got today. Morning.